you know, owning a veteran owned and operated com- company, um, a lot of people are just like, you know, they're always thanking us uh, for our service. And man, we gravely appreciate it. But man, if you heard the backstory from a lot of us, like, you know, what we were trying to get away from or what we were trying to to maneuver right. through. Because um, not only yeah. you had, you had this monkey on your back that was a lot of different monkeys. Yeah, man. You yeah. had you had things with your parents. Dude, like my parents, you know, my, my father, I've been in church like my whole life. Right. And my mom, hard worker, worked two jobs. You know what I'm saying? My dad, you know, uh, a lot of, he was a, he was a preacher uh, at the time. By the time I got to high school, he just you know started his founded his own his his own church. So like everybody know me like as the preacher's kid. You so, had a unique position in a sense, dude. It was a hard position. Well, I, I mean, yeah. not unique in a in a in a good way. Yeah, unique in a way that a lot of people you're trying to find your way in the world. Yeah. Yeah. But you're like, you just want to be accepted. You want yeah. to be loved. Yeah. You want and to I, And you know, the biggest thing was I didn't want to be the preacher's kid. Right. Like, I didn't want that shadow. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't want to live in that shadow. Like, I wanted to maneuver through life on my own merit. So I was trying to define myself. So it's hard at sixteen. It's man. hard. Right. It's hard because You're trying to find your place in the world. Yeah, and, and with the with the father like who's like I tell people like sometimes having a father, a great one, is just as hard as not having one. Because like when you walk in the house and it's like a wall of accolades and it's like, Oh, you better get you some of them. I'm like how? Like, I right, hate school. Right, right. You know, like, I hate school. Like, I'm, I'm done with school. Like, I don't see college. There was a, there was a like, a subconscious... Standard. Standard that, yeah. like, some people really don't know. Because understand. when you walk around town, you're not Marcus. You're Kathy Rhodes and Marvis Rhodes, son. Ain't uh-huh. your daddy a preacher. You know what I'm and, saying? Like, and, and people have this, like, stigma. Stigma. Like, that right. you got to live up to. So it was like uh, growing up, okay, like okay. you can't be no failure, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you can't fail. That's a pressure that you were not really. What? what, what that's a unnecessary pressure, dude. A lot. Right. A lot. And, and it's you know, like it's crazy. Where Marshall is small. Right. So everybody knows your dad's a preacher. Right. And it's like, why are you over here slipping and trying to drink? Go on home, like your dad's a pre- like, dude. <laughs> my eleventh grade year, my church member was sit by the uh, the the police scanner, <laughs> and dude, me and my friends were just regular teenagers. You know, we got our first right, little yeah. car, so we trying to race through town. The police will pull us over and be like, "Ain't your dad so and so and so? Take your butt home!" And like. Before I even get back to the house, the church members calling my parents like, Marcus got put over by the police. And it's like, I just want to be 16. Like, right. I don't want all this pressure. Like, right, right. I don't want to feel like I got to have a wall full of plaques at, at 16. Like, I don't want to think about college right now. You know what I'm saying? I just want to go to football games. I just want to date. And it's like, chill. I just want to chill, right, you know? Right, right. And for the most part, like, I tried to, but like when you got a father who you feel like is, you know, well known for being a, a good person and a parents who stand for something, like you just can't go through standing for nothing. Like, well, is that so. always the case though? Wait, hold on, because perception is a lot of different things. True. So was the perception the same inside the house between you, your siblings, and your parents? 